My name is Dan Eagle, I'm the Assistant Marketing Manager of Tamron Europe. And uh, yeah. So this is a very busy booth right here at uh, Fotokina. It's an important event for you, right? Of course, Fotokina was and is always a very important event with uh, many customers visiting our booth stand. And uh, yeah, they would like to see our new products, uh, which we have seen uh, already here, down here below. And uh, I think you have some questions. <laughs> yeah, so, so this one, for example, yeah. is very, uh, people are very excited about this one. Um, uh, why is it special? Uh, it's our first uh, E-mount lens for Sony full-frame cameras. And um, yeah, I think we managed to build a very interesting lens regarding size because it's uh, open aperture is 2.8. And um, yeah, it's very compact, so it fits perfectly to the design of the uh, Sony E-mount cameras. And um, yeah, it seems that customers are very excited about this lens. Um, and yeah, we're glad to have it finally. So it's the right size, the right price. It's, a, it's very affordable compared to some other kind of lens that are yes. not far from this, right? Yeah, but, correct. And, uh, but because it's 28, then they can keep the size and the price? Or? Yeah, we, we could have built a 24 to 70 maybe, but then it, it would have been regarding size it would have been very similar to our uh, existing 24 to 70 for uh, DSLR cameras so it would be much bigger and our goal was to build uh, a lens that fits to the concept of the uh, e-mount cameras of the Sony e-mount cameras so a compact lens for a compact body and uh, so it's, it's selling very good, I guess, right, right now? Um, to be honest, we're selling, I think, every lens that comes out of the factory is uh, sold already. So uh, we try to keep up with the demand uh, on the market. And we're very glad that uh, we have this uh, response from the customers. And uh, so where's your factory? Uh, we have many factories. Uh, we have factories in uh, Japan. We have factories in, uh, in China, of course. And uh, I think in uh, Vietnam also. So, uh, uh, Tamaran is a Japanese company? Tamaran is a Japanese country, yes. What is the history of Tamaran? Is it many, many years? Tam Tamaran exists for over 50 years now, I think nearly 55 years already. And uh, yeah, we were always uh, concentrated, our concept was always to build compact lenses, very versatile lenses for everyone. So we have a big history uh, regarding zoom lenses, travel zoom lenses, our mega zooms as we call them. The latest one is the 18 to 400 millimeter. For the zoom range this lens has, it's still a very compact lens. So this is uh, yeah, really, really deep in our history to build this kind of lenses. And even though this is not such a big zoom lens, it fits perfectly into this concept because, again, this is very compact, very light, and very uh, yeah, unique in its uh, uh, construction. People are saying that the quality that the pictures are coming out of this are quite, quite uh, exciting, quite amazing. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, and I think uh, we, we can be quite proud of it. Uh, we tried for many years to, to raise constantly the, uh, the quality of our lenses. We develop many new coating uh, stuff for the lenses. So, for example, this one here, the new uh, 15 to 30 millimeter G Tech lens, it has a new coating on the front, uh, which we call AX coating, which is uh, yeah. even more advanced compared to the older coating regarding reflections. Yeah, maybe you can see it. I, I don't know. It's it's it, you can see a slight green reflection on the lens. This is the special coating, and it's very unique because now we manage to have the coating all over the lens, to to every corner of the lens, uh, which helps you to to keep the picture picture crisp, clear, even to the corners. So what is this coating for? Is it for kind of like glare or something? Anti-reflection coating. Anti-reflection. Yeah. And and then. Uh, uh, which one is this? This is a 15 to 30? 15 to 30, yeah. Correct. For uh, for which kind of uh, camera? This is for the uh, DSLR cameras, uh, Canon and Nikon systems. So it works for both? Yeah, we, we have, have two different versions. We have two different ver versions, two, two yeah. mounts. This one was for the Sony, right? This is a Sony E mount. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see here. So if it's selling good, maybe it also means that Sony is selling pretty good right now. That's why everybody wants to move into the mirrorless. So yeah, of course, we will concentrate. Uh, we will not forget the, the DSLR lenses, yeah. especially full frame, I think will be on the market for many, many more years. Uh, since many professional photographers uh, love to use it and they're very versatile and very stable cameras. So I think that will not go away too soon. 
So we will, of course, develop more lenses for this. Um, but again, the mirrorless market is, is rising, as everyone knows, and we will, of course, uh, continue to develop more lenses for Sony E-mount, and we will see what the future brings for Z-mount and R-mount. Uh, we're really excited that now all the bigger companies have something in their portfolio, and uh, yeah, we're very excited. It's very excited. excited for you. Yeah, of Exciting course. Exciting because uh, it brings you new opportunities, maybe. Yes, yes. To bring new, because especially uh, Z-mount and R-mount, they only come with three lenses. So yeah. people would be very thirsty for more. Of course, and right? of course we have to we have to see you know as a as a uh, manufacturer of, of lenses we have to see how the development is in the market. But um, I th I'm I'm pretty sure it will be uh, fine, and then in the future, I think yeah, yeah. there will be something from us. Because uh, uh, these Z mount and uh, R mount, for example, uh, do they have new connectors, and do they share those with everybody, or is it? I can, you cannot say. You know what uh, I mean? To be honest, I don't know how the, the political systems in the background are, but normally uh, it, it's not a big problem to, to adapt that or to get the specification so that we can build lenses for it. Nice. And one other, one other mount that I'm excited about is uh, a new partnership, uh, Leica Sigma Panasonic L mount. Yep. Maybe, maybe you're interested also. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's very new and, and of course we don't know uh, about that until Fotokina. So that's again a point we have to wait uh, how it develops. So maybe in the future. Maybe we will, see. will be more open than uh, Nikon and Canon, maybe. Maybe, but maybe. we really have to see. Uh, it's really yeah. difficult for us to, to say that now. Yeah, we have to wait maybe for next Fotokina, now that Fotokina is every year. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we get sooner all this kind of information. So, for example, this, uh, this uh, Sony um, compatible 28-75, to 75, uh, how is the autofocus performance compared to a Sony lens? Well, uh, we had many of our photographers tested this uh, compared to the G Master lenses and so on. And to be honest, they said autofocus is working just fine. They don't see any big differences. The in that. Nearly the same, just the same, whatever you like. The yeah. speed is speed is perfect, and it's stable for video. Also, it's not gonna uh, hunt. It's this not lens is uh, equipped. We call it Eric's D. This is the autofocus motor in this lens. Um, and it's specially designed, to be honest, for uh, video photographers because it's very quiet. So this is... Uh, quiet. Quiet, yeah. Very important. Quiet to change the, to the photo focus is quiet. Yeah, very quiet. Nice. That's cool. And, uh, and uh, which is this yeah. one? So this is the third of our new lenses, the 17-35mm. It starts also with 2.8 and goes to 4. And um, this lens doesn't have this PC that we normally build inside uh, all our, our lenses. Um, but then again, it's very compact, very light. So this is really meant for someone who likes to take pictures, wide-angle pictures, but doesn't want to carry such a big and heavy lens with them, for example, in holidays or whatever. So there are certain situations where you need a very light and very versatile uh, wide-angle lens. And therefore, we have developed this one. Yeah, which also has at least the 2.8 at the beginning. And this is a Nikon Canon? Also Nikon Canon, also DSLR. Uh, which one you sell more, Nikon or Canon? I'm joking, but you don't have to say. <laughs> to, I don't know. You cannot say. I don't know. But uh, are there any prices, uh, good prices on these Nikon Canon ones here? Um, the actual prices I have to look up. Yeah. I only could uh, tell you the. the no. This one we know that it's very, uh, very good price. Very attractive, yes. Yeah, and these are, uh, uh, I guess, there might be some other lenses similar on the market too, but it's providing a better value. Yeah, of course. So we we are with with both lenses. Uh, we are, we offer a very good, very high professional quality to a very reasonable price, and uh, yeah, I think uh, that's very interesting for many many customers out there.